Hi everyone, this is Samra12 here coming at you with a new video and today we'll look in depth uh, from a streamer's perspective when it comes to Omelette Arcade app. And we'll be doing a comparison between Omelette Arcade Free by itself and Ar Omelette Arcade Plus. And first we'll look at the plus sign located in the middle over here. And we have several options. We have editor which uh, you can use to edit your clips, etc. Uh, you can host your own tournaments if you play PUBG Mobile, etc. Uh, games is where you can locate uh, what you are, what you'll be playing or what kind of other games you have. Uh, in this, for instance, if I have, if I want to check out what kind of games I have from this point forward, I can then look at the Minecraft, I can scroll down to Warship Blitz, World of Tanks, A Paul Pool, etc. And if we go back again, so we can then go here to either record, which you can record your gameplay. Um, basically, just record the video by itself. Um, but for me, in this particular, I'll be using my screen recorder from the uh, Samsung, um, which came uh, with the phone itself. Nevertheless, um, we'll go to go live. Now, let's say if I were to stream live Worship Blitz, always when you first make sh when you're first streaming on for Worship Blitz, uh, for me in particular, what I would do is I'll go back to uh, Worship Blitz itself. Now, as we're logging in, um, the first thing we want to look for is the settings button, uh, which we can go ahead and click over here in the gear side section and then we go to sound and always make sure to test out your sounds beforehand like at least do one match and test out to see if the music is too loud for me i would sometimes adjust it to a little bit lower to here uh in the beginning <coughs> as well as the audio as well audio is when like you have other sound effects um such as the cannons being shot uh, from or cannons shooting or you're getting hit by your opponents. Uh, voice messages would be like your commander um, uh, from that specific language that would be speaking. Uh, let's say you have a Russian, uh, you can go to other and you can always go to voice messages and you can click on any type of language and it would appear for the specific commander itself. So let's say if you have an American commander uh, or British commander, it will speak in English. Or you can click on national, which will then readjust to whichever uh, commander, um, national commander or commander's nation's commander um, language. For example, if you have a Russian commander or perhaps a Russian admiral, then they will be speaking in Russian. If they if you have a German commander uh, or a German admiral, then uh, you want to click on Deutsch in this case, etc. Now, going back to sound, always make sure if you don't want to have the music on, then make sure to turn this off by clicking here. Uh, nevertheless, let's go back to Omelet Arcade and let's say we want to stream live here. Now, you're given. Uh, when you're given a free access, you won't You can either you can only have one option, and basically one option to stream from or a specific platform will either be Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Uh, you can also uh, do a custom platform, uh, or even with just Omelet Arcade by itself. Now. Usually it would just be like this. So let's say if I want to just stream um, the Omelette Arcade by itself, I'll click on next. Now you'll be given this settings screen. Now this settings screen is basically uh, where you can then adjust your title. Let's say Omelette Arcade, Omelette Arcade stream. And basically, you can always adjust this um, title uh, when you log into your YouTube channel. You can always edit that while you're on stream as well. 
And for here, you can always type in the description. Let's say if you have a link uh, in mind, such as your Discord, etc. You can always copy and paste in this section below. Now, the important part is here, the stream settings. Now, this is where you have the audio, the streaming quality, and, and etc. Now, the audio voice or the audio source. Audio source in particular, you have the microphone setting and the internal audio. Now, the internal audio is where you can adjust the volume for how loud your music will be projecting while you're on stream. And uh, this you can fiddle around. Um, I would usually place it somewhere roughly around here, like at least one third, uh, one third of the full volume. And let's say if you don't want to stream uh, with any voice then my recommendation would be to click this off this microphone off but for me in particular I would always use microphone um, because I'll be uh, speaking during my streams and let's say if you didn't want any music to be on and only except for your voice then you want to click this on off which uh, just one tap and as you can see, it reads internal audio only works for apps allowing other apps to capture its audio. If your stream or video has no audio, please contact that app developers and ask them to enable internal audio capturing, etc. So now as we exit out, streaming quality. Now streaming quality, um, as you can see, the pop-up says using 720p will consume more network bandwidth and may decrease the performance of the game. Um, I remember when I first started out, I would use auto, um, which would then still create that pixel-related stream streaming quality. So I normally go for 720, and that's why you will probably see a lot of uh, weak connectivity, or so to speak. Um, and also just based on your internet as well too. Um, some have gone through like 40, 480p, but 720 is the highest. Um, that's only if you're using the free, uh, free version. Now, let's say um, I got this all sorted out, stream settings, and also you can do do not disturb mode. Uh, basically, it would just turn off all notifications or. Um, prevent notifications that you have uh, from popping up during your stream and you can also do stream notifications only basically people from omelette arcade that want to watch your stream uh, will have their name pop up uh, during your stream let's say they join uh, join in to watch and they will show it will show their name in particular and also like the chat from either if you're streaming from YouTube it will show the uh, the text message on the very top uh, so to speak um, as it will pop it up and if you want if you have a lot of storage capacity in your phone as well you can do save to gallery but for me I seldom do that uh, because I rather record it and um, let it record on YouTube uh, while I'm streaming and low latency mode as you can see this is only for omelet uh, plus uh, basically, um, as it says, experiencing unstable streams, try out a low, low latency mode. Basically, it will help c keep a consistent stream and quality. Now, as we go back, you can go to advanced settings. Now, this is where you can set up cl uh, clear rules, as it says right here. Set up clear rules to improve stream chat behavior. And, of course, I always want to provide a an environment where it's friendly and also a respectful environment so to speak so that's why i have the three rules be respectful have fun what i mean have fun that means like create a lively chat so to speak um something that we can uh be positive about and of course feel free to chat uh, basically a lot of the times when i'm streaming sometimes people don't like to chat so that's why i encourage my audience members or those that are watching me to do so and of course, we have the welcome message. You can always put that. Uh, you can always adjust what you want to say. For me, I just put welcome. Hope you will enjoy my stream. Invite your friends to watch together, um, and etc. And of course, for me personally, I like to block links in chat because sometimes I don't know what kind of links that that person or that um, random stranger that 
uh, is posting in the URL. And of course, I don't want it to be like a spam so that my audience members will click on it and end up getting some sort of random um, website or perhaps like some sort of virus. So that's why I prefer to click on this uh, block links in chat. Um, now, for the there are also voice buff allows viewers to send buffs that are automatically read aloud on stream, um, which I guess I put that one as on. Now, and this is moments capturing. Now, this is actually kind of interesting because um, for Omelette Plus in particular, uh, which I will go ahead later on discuss. And of course, there's an auto share invite link for people to um, click on the link, and you can then um, basically sh uh, stream with other people as well, or perhaps like even have those you have friends that want to uh, join stream. You can they can then join through there. And of course, for who can chat, of course I put it for everyone, uh, no matter whether you're, you're a spectator gamer sponsor um etc you can always chat on my channel or during my stream and of course if i have if i wanted to have moderators i can then um invite uh i'll have to have a friend who already has an omelet arcade app uh or account and then i can enter their user id and then make them my moderator and they can moderate the chat now, as we go down, there's stream delay um, that will be for Omelette Plus only. Um, and we'll get to, so that means that you can do like 30 seconds, one minute. I keep it as none. On YouTube, it's probably 20 seconds at least, or 5 to 10 seconds, or even less. Now, we have the stream overlay. Stream overlays, this is good for uh, making your stream look more presentable. For me, I purchased them, which I can later on uh, show. Now, you can also get the free ones as well. Um, you can just like, sometimes you can uh, watch um, watch a video and then you can get it for free, so to speak. But for me personally, I buy them uh, if I like it. For example, Freedom is has always been the best choice for me because I always like the, the color on the side as well. Uh, like white and white and dark blue I suppose and red on the side and you can as you can see here there's a customize button and customize you can then um, click on the capital A and lowercase a on the top right corner and you can input uh, what you want to show on the middle or bottom middle side uh, where uh, you can say like, oh, check out Samurai 12 on YT, Twitch, and Discord. Or perhaps for you, let's say your name is Everything YOLO. You can then put in like, check out Everything YOLO um, on Twitch, etc. And you have only 60 characters or 60 letters that you can input in. So just keep that in mind. Now, going back here, you can then... Um, now, we can talk about the... Omelet Plus. Now the Omelet Plus side, this is only so for me personally. I purchased it uh, when it was like eight dollars or so for a month, uh, which you can technically purchase it for a year as well, and which will be seventy dollars, um, depending if they're on sale or not. Now, this is an interesting part for omelet uh, partner there's an omelet partner program i think you have to reach a certain level so to speak and in order to get in and as it says sponsor ads and messages may show on live stream during shield mode and in stream chat the revenue will be shared with you now this helps me out or helps us streamers out in particular when you watch an ad uh, because it then support us so that we can then hopefully uh, be able to then uh, pay for the uh, streaming of multiple platforms in which now we can go back here as you can see since I'm an Omnus Plus member I can then stream on multiple platforms I can stream on YouTube I can stream on Twitch and then I can also stream on Facebook as well Facebook and Omnus Arcade 
all of them combined and plus you can use the 1080 stream which you can only use one platform only though you can only use one platform such as maybe a youtube uh in particular and it will be 1080 will be the highest for you uh when you're an omelet arcade plus member and as you can see here the streaming quality is currently on auto and then of course with 1080 it will consume more network bandwidth etc which i'll choose 10 1080 and then i'll go ahead and click next and there's a watermark add a custom watermark to enhance channel recognition and branding so basically you can then uh, go uh, and customize it edit it and make a nicer image for yourself for your watermark uh, which i don't have which is recommended you can also create a custom stream thumbnail which would then later on be posted onto your youtube video itself um later on once you ended your stream you have the shield image basically this is when you are away so so to speak you have landscape and portrait um you can do uh which you can edit the image itself, maybe show like a ship or some sort saying that I'll be away for a bit um, so that people would know, uh, so to speak. And of course, um, and as we have recently uh, checked out, there's a low latency mode. This is only for Omelette Plus, as uh, we have mentioned before. Not to mention for advanced settings, uh, there was a followers only basically for those uh, who recently followed you let's say um, where you can check their followers in particular let's go back real quick and go back to omelette arcade if we click on the three the hamburger sign or the three horizontal bars on the top left corner here right by the profile once you click on your profile currently i have 34 followers and 13 following and when you're following those technically you're already friends with them so to speak and then you can always adjust uh, your description as who you are and within the omelette arcade community uh, you can also present feature friends which you click on this pencil icon and then you can then as you scroll down you can then add um, your current friends uh, you can also, let's say, uh, for example, I wanted to add a, which you're going to have to like add, uh, figure out the, the username for them in particular. Uh, it's a bit risky for me right now if I want to do it. Let me just go ahead and do that actually. Add friend, and then I can... Click. I have to type in the whole entire thing as well, which Mr. Mime and let's say if Mr. Mime is the one that I want to add, then I can click on pick tag. Of course, I wanted to click on best friend, and then when I click on save, it will then be featured right here as one of the feature friends, so to speak. And then of course you can present your social links. Um, as once you click on this uh edit or this pencil so to speak pencil icon and as we scroll down you can then enter your links discord youtube etc and then you can also create um stream you can add a moderator here uh create a feature community which i created with a like, social unity you can always join in there as well which i will try to be more active there as well too and you can also see your moments, like people would capture like the time when I was talking about the Richelieu or Richelieu and etc. Which is quite interesting. And of course the games um, I will be featured as uh, what you play etc. And of course uh, trophies, kind of rare, you have to win trophies by joining tournaments or online official events. Posts will automatically automatically be done when you finish your stream so to speak and nevertheless uh you also have the uh chat icon which you can click on chat and you can always click on channels which you're involved in um etc and nevertheless that is about it if you found this video to be 
helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, the subscribe button is always available. You can always uh, unsubscribe, etc. If you don't feel like um, seeing any more of my videos. Um, uh, and also, it helps me out in essence because the goal here is that I want to get at least a thousand K subscribers and more and hopefully fulfill uh, my dream later on as a full-time streamer so I can always provide the necessary entertainment for y'all. And not to mention, I am want to give a quick mention about how um, I am starting a new channel specifically only for pronunciation of English. So if you ever want to, if you ever have friends and family members who want to uh, learn English or learn how to pronounce, uh, please do check it out. I'll provide the link below. Um, it's called Learning English with Samurai 12 um, or Learning Pronunciation with Samurai 12. Either way, uh, that is going to be my new channel specifically uh, for streaming uh, live um, when it comes to learning English and pronunciation. And I appreciate all of your time and uh, consideration and I wish you all the best and God bless you all. Take care.